So I want to share a few minutes here about this new product called Sonos. It's a uh, speaker, kind of a home speaker system that you can put in around your whole house. Sounds like the music's getting loud. Let me go ahead and turn this one down here. I'll just go ahead and turn this volume down here. Actually, I can turn it off completely right here from this instrument panel. So we're going to go into kind of how Sonos is set up here and some of the cool features that come along with a Sonos Hi-Fi system. So let's look at some of the cool features here. This is the Sonos system, and basically what the Sonos system allows us to do is to play music and um, stereo all throughout your entire house with a bunch of different modules. And what's really nice about this solution is that all you have to do is plug it in. You install a bridge, and then you just simply plug in the speaker, and away it goes. So let me go ahead. Let's pull up a drawing here. Uh, that may help kind of explain a little bit about what Sonos is, how I have it set up in my home, and then you can probably take a look at that and say, oh, okay, this is kind of how I can set it up. And please do not replace what I'm showing you here with what is available inside of you know, the documentation that comes with Sonos. This is just one guy's way of doing it. Look up the Sonos documentation and figure this out for yourself. But let's go ahead and just put this bad boy up on the screen here so that we can see it. And see, this is Sonos. So essentially, we start here with a bridge uh, that goes on the system. And this bridge essentially connects you to your wireless network. Once you've connected this bridge, essentially, you'll take these components highlighted in yellow here, this play one, sidebar, subwoofer, all of that, and you create a relationship to the bridge. So it's as simple as pushing down the butt, you know, plugging the speaker into the wall with the electric power, and then literally just pushing the top of the bridge. There's a little button on top of the bridge. You push it and hold it you know, for a few seconds and release, and then all of a sudden it finds the new device. And you do this to enroll all of your devices within your environment. And then you can literally take any device and move it around and put it wherever you want. So for example, I have sitting in my office, although it's not represented here, I have the uh, Play One that's targeted for the basement in this drawing. I have it actually sitting in my office. So when we go out to the garage to do some work, I just unplug it from my office, put it outside, plug it into the garage, give it a minute, and then boom, I can assign music directly to it. So that's kind of cool. The other thing to remember here is about the Sonos and your TV. So you can take, if you're looking for a home theater look and feel, uh, you can hook it up directly to your television. Now, depending upon how your television is set up now, um, you have to do a few things. The optimal way to do it is to put your sound bar in. This is a Sonos sound bar. And it has an AV, a digital AV, excuse me, a digital audio cable. And you just literally go from the sound bar up to your TV and plug the sound bar in, and then it will work. And if you have all of your devices hanging off your HDMI ports on your television, right, which I do not, but if you, you know, there's multiple HDMI ports on the back of your television, if you have them all hanging on there, then it works perfectly. Now, for my situation, as you see drawn here in the light blue, I have a television with a cable, one HDMI cable that runs through the wall down to a receiver that I have. Now, when I first purchased Sonos, Sonos said in the instructions, get rid of the receiver and just connect directly to the television. <coughs> Excuse me. I couldn't do that because I'm not going to run four or five cables here directly up to my TV. It's not going to happen. And so I have a, I got an HDMI switch, and so I thought, well, I'll just run the HDMI switch. That did not work so well for me. I, it did not work at all, actually. And so they tell you in the Sonos manual to get rid of your receiver, but I put my receiver back in, and it works perfectly. So I was able to add all of these devices using my receiver basically as a switch, that says, okay, I've got HDMI 1 is my Roku player, my Xbox, all HDMI connections here, directly connected to my receiver, and then it works perfectly. And so when I want to watch the Xbox, I flip over to HDMI 3 on my receiver, 
and it passes that signal in my TV, and then Sonos plays it right here on the sound bar. So it's just something to be aware of uh, that you may have a little bit of a challenge. One other thing that I did run into a challenge with on setting up Sonos, although I got it to work, was that the manual does say that you can do play threes here. We tried to get the plays threes to work, and they would it was constantly dropping out. It wasn't working right. You'd switch back over to it. It just did not work right as advertised. So we put the two play ones in here, and these are the back speakers to your you know, 5.1 Dolby sound, and it sounds awesome, by the way. So we enrolled the subwoofer, the sound bar, and these two back speakers into our 5.1, and it works perfectly with the play one, not the play three. Then these speakers here that you see in these different bedrooms and the kitchen and such, these are just different speakers. Literally, plug them into the wall, hit the enroll button on your bridge, it enrolls them and immediately it picks them all up. And so I, oh, one last thing before I go. So here are those different rooms. One last thing. The bridge I just have connected to an ethernet, a uh, hardwired ethernet cat5 cable right on my network. The, the Sonos book says it should be connected to your router. It doesn't have to be. I have mine actually sitting in my office and you know I just run into it and then I run the cable that this used to go into the wall. I just run it into the bridge. There's two ports on the back of it and it still connects my office computer just fine. No worries there. So I just use it there. You could literally put the bridge anywhere as long as it's on your network. Now remember this it goes over a wireless network so you need to make sure you have wireless running. And once you hook that bridge up, there is nothing you have to do. It will walk you through a few things on the screen, and then the bridge is ready to go and enroll these participants. Oh, one other thing. I'm sorry. I keep thinking of things as I was installing it. When you install these speakers here, it takes them about 15 to 20 seconds to come up and be eligible to enroll in the bridge. So don't plug in like for example here Hunter and Jackson's room and I did them all by the way in my office and then just unplugged them and replugged them into the different rooms so I wasn't running around the house. Um, this only worked for about I don't know maybe uh, 20 seconds or so you plug it in give it some time to boot up and then the bridge will be eligible to see it and then it connects real nicely. If you plug it in immediately and hit the button on the bridge it takes about 20 or 30 seconds for it to actually see it. So just a little thing I learned. One last thing is I have a network share sitting on my network. It's running on an XP box. It's in a folder called MP3 and a little workstation, a Windows XP workstation called Primary. It's just shared MP3 files. So I have all of my MP3 folders sitting inside of that file and um, it works absolutely terrific. So let me just show you that folder real quick here exactly what I mean and I'll show you how to connect to it in the Sonos area so here is what it actually looks like uh, you know this is that mp3 um, play uh, folder right here you see the music here listed out so I can see all of that with Sonos and just so you know on your network these are the Sonos players that, are, that actually show up as network devices on your wireless network so pretty cool stuff I know I'm kind of breezing through this quickly, but I wanted to kind of give a, just a real basic overview of everything. So that.